Well, welcome back to the Real Life Kitchen. We are here with our very special lady, Arlene. Hey We're there, so girlfriend. glad you're here. So what is our well, topic you. today and what well, are we Well, it's a new month. So yeah. we're going to start a new emphasis. We've already done the emphasis on English foods, mm -hmm. on French foods. Now we're going to take a trip to Israel. Oh, I love Israel. You know why I love Israel? Why? It's the land of God. That's right. I mean, there's something spe so special about Israel and just everything that's going on in the world today. Mm -hmm. The bottom line is the scripture says, pray for the peace of Jerusalem. And he also says, bless Israel, and I will bless you. If you want to get blessed today, start blessing Israel. Amen. Blessing Israel. We also know they're under an attack. That's right. And have been for a long time. Mm -hmm. But you know, God will take care of his own. Won't he? That's right. That's right. So today we just want to share some ideas with you for a typical Israeli breakfast. Now, you know, the typical American is you got your pancakes, you got your eggs, you got it your bacon, like you this. got no, you got your toast, you know, you got your home fries, whatever. This is a little different, but it's kind of a little in similarities. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that my dad was there many times and he he'd come home, he'd say, Arlene, you know what they had on the breakfast table this morning or that morning? No dad, what he said, cucumbers. They always served a salad oh. at breakfast table, no matter whatever else you had. So we're having you do a typical Israeli salad, okay? It sounds prophetic. <laughs> <laughs> well, it has cucumbers, of course. Mm -hmm. It's they got fresh great. parsley. It's got fresh mint. Mm -hmm. It's got uh, some wonderful tomatoes. And everything is cut real fine, very small. And then she's going to make just a plain lemon juice and salt and pepper and olive oil dressing. And we're going to cover that. And that's just on the table at, at breakfast. It's very healthy. Yeah. It's a great start. Now, ask me what I'm going to make. What are you going to make? I think this is the way you pronounce it. <laughs> Shakshuka. Shakshuka. That's and like those names in the book of Levi. I know. Be, somebody begat <laughs> Shakshuka, I'm sure. Leviticus. No, but, <laughs> but anyway, mine starts out. And apparently, this is the way they do their eggs. And there's so many variations. If you're really interested, you could go on, just Google it, and it will give you so many very, but this is the basis. It's a basis of chopped tomatoes, finely chopped tomatoes, garlic and onions, and a little bit of, of um, olive oil. And you want it to be kind of soupy. You could put spinach in here. You could put kale. They put olives. There's a variety of things that you can put in here. But we, so far, we have just really sweated the garlic and the onions, and then we added this can of tiny diced tomatoes. And you can see we're just letting it cook down until those tomatoes get nice and soft. Then we're gonna add one green pepper that's been cut in just some nice pieces like that. We're gonna add that to our mixture. And just some salt and pepper. We have a combination of salt and pepper. You don't wanna go too heavy on the salt because the tomatoes are always canned with a lot of salt. So be careful with that. Again, you can put cumin in here, you can put cinnamon in it, anything that you like, your family likes. We're gonna go with a little bit, you can put hot chilies. We're just gonna do a few crushed chili peppers, dried, okay? So we're just adding those. And I'm gonna turn the fire up, as they say, just a little bit so we can get this really cranking. Because, how are we doing, girlfriend? We're doing good, <laughs> Does getting it, these yeah. diced up. Real small, small as you can. Tell me some facts you know about, about people in Israel and what's going on there. Well, we were reading um, about Benjamin and Nahu. Am I saying that last Netanyahu. name right? Netanyahu. Uh -huh. Prime Minister, How he powerful man. he called the Israelite people of Europe to come home. Like his arms are open wide. And you know, when you read, that's very prophetic. Oh my goodness, you absolutely. Know, so. I can't remember his exact words, but in other words, it's like prophecy being fulfilled. And regardless of what the Islamic Rashid, you know, the people rising up and bringing death to so many Christians oh, yeah. and Jews, God's going to have his final say. He is, absolutely. And he will always protect Israel. Yes. Always. Yes. And, you know, can we just remember the, what was the Six-Day War? Can we remember the, the conflicts that people have come... He will never let Jerusalem be taken over. He won't. 
Because you know what? The Israeli people are the apple of God's eye. They're his people. And I'm thankful that we, a lot of us in America, stand beside, you know, the Prime Minister Netanyahu because he is a man who has a passion for Israel. That's right. And he's coming to address the Congress. And I know a lot of our lawmakers are not wanting to go. But I pray, I pray that there is an awakening in America that we realize exactly Amen. what's happening. Amen. Open our eyes, Lord Jesus, yes. open our eyes so we can see the truth of the word. That's right. And um, so I, I'm just believing God's going to do that. That's there right. is a, a people that are going to stand by Jerusalem. Yes. Because we're going to bless Jerusalem. That's right. They are our beginning. They are, Jesus, absolutely. our Lord and Savior, was Jewish. Now, I was talking to Dave, one of our producers. He said that he's been there so many times, and he said, you do feel like you're going home. My dad always said, that feels like home. Wow. Because there's that Spirit of God there that if you're born of the Spirit, you're part of that. It and is a drawing. have been grafted in. Absolutely. Isn't that good to know? Thank God. Yes. Thank God we've been grafted yes. in. Okay, so... I'm well, going to add the tomatoes. Forever, couldn't we? I know. I'm so I thankful. Know. I know. We love the Jewish people. Okay, now you just want to put that together. We only have two minutes here. All right. And while this is cooking, I'm going to show you what we're going to do here. This is phenomenal. Now, if you don't like this, you can scramble eggs, but we're going to drop whole eggs right in on top. Try not to break the yolks, okay? We're just going to drop them right in there. Okay? And you can put as many as, however many you want to serve people. If you have six people, they will lay two a piece, they probably will. So, we're just going to drop these in. Try to get no shells, because we don't want any crunch except the vegetables. I do want you to pray for Israel, because it's so important. You know, we, we need to let them know there's people in America that love them and care That's for them. Right. And uh, I know that you do. Come on, baby. That one did not want to get in there. This was wonderful to put together. Very easy. Okay. Yeah. A little bit of prep time, I guess, those who Absolutely. helped us cut everything up. And you know what? Just go ahead and, and put that on Drizzle there. It over top. When we come back, we're going to have a taste test. And time will tell if people like this or not. Mm. I have a feeling that it's, it's something. Oh, yeah. Because I'm going to put the lid on this, turn this down. When you come back, those eggs will be perfectly cooked. Okay, so when we come back for the taste test right after these important messages, and we'll be back shortly. Well, we're back in the kitchen, and it's time for the taste, our favorite part of the program. Yes, <laughs> and uh, we get a look first. We've got to see what mm -hmm. it looks like, right? Okay. okay, if you'll hand me that plate, right. look how nice your salad looks. And we oh, put a nice wonderful. big chunk of bread because you need that. Because mm -hmm. look at our eggs. Wow. Don't they look good? And underneath that egg is all that wonderful, delicious oh, tomato. Oh, tomatoes. Is that beautiful or uh -huh. what? It sure is. And look, that, that yolk is cooked perfectly. Right. Okay. Do you want to taste there? Yeah. Absolutely. Okay, there's a fork. Here's okay. another fork. Thank Amanda. you. I stole your share. fork, Amanda. That's all right. <laughs> you can share. I'm going to try this salad. Look at that with the egg and the... Mm. Isn't that mm. a good? Well, Tasty, well, it's huh? hot. Hot, yeah, it hot, is hot, hot. 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 <laughs> yeah, good. you're supposed to blow on stuff when it's in a hot <laughs> skillet, you know, like hot. like you teach the kids, blow on it first, you know. I'll try a little but, bit of that salad, too. Mm -hmm. But it's isn't excellent. this wonderful for what you could have for mm. a wonderful breakfast, huh? That is really good. It's, it's very so healthy. So there it is, and I hope that you'll try it. Remember, you can go to ctvn.org and get the recipes. You can watch the whole segment where we prepared. And most of all, will you remember to really keep praying for Israel? Right. I know that's your passion too, Tom. Well, we, we need to. We need to, oh. to, to hold up the, the nation of Israel. Daily. I every mean, they're, day. They're facing enemies all around them every all day. Around. All yeah. around. Mm -hmm. And there's this little tiny, tiny nation that's totally surrounded by forces that are trying to get them, and they can't. You know why? If idea. God be for you, who could be against <laughs> That's you, right, Tom? Right. That's, my idea. That's what I say. If God be for you, who could be against you? And, and we do. We need to do that daily. And I know that that's your passion, too. Um, right. You know, Amanda, that's, that's what we're all about. That's right. So Absolutely. We, remember to pray for Israel. 
And we're also going to be praying for you in just a moment. And, uh, you know, for everyone who's called into the ministry center today uh, with their prayer requests. But first, let's see what's coming up tomorrow on Real. Real.